Hello everybody, my name is Eric, and today we're going to be taking a look at a new malware. Hot off the presses, I was emailed this literally six minutes ago. Someone found this and thought this was quite stealthy. So this is Oblivora, which is a 2D stealth action game about an evil shapeshifter on the run from justice. Now I'm just going to put this into Google so that we can get an idea, because I, I usually assume when I see something like this that the assets are stolen from somewhere. Let's go to Google. Yes. So the real game, and I'll link, I'll probably link the real game in the description. So if you actually, oh, it's coming soon. Okay. So Necro Fugitive. This is the game. And we can see the same graphics. Yeah, they just stole uh, some of the alt from this. So the developers of Livora are obviously not going to be shipping the actual Necro Fugitive game. So let's see what they're shipping. So first of all, let's take a look at the FAQ. I'm getting a Windows small screen error. Is this file safe? This is a default security feature that pops up when a file isn't digitally signed or comes from an unrecognized source. I can assure you this file is completely safe. You can click more info and run anyway. What are the system requirements? Can run on low end PCs, Windows 10, Intel i3, 4 gigabytes of RAM, okay. Uh, it's only available on Windows, of course, because the malware is only available on Windows, probably Luma Steeler, although I've heard this is custom and undetected. Will it receive regular updates? Is there a contact spool? wonder if you can actually email that. Let's see where this is. I'm just trying to see if they stole this from, or if they edited it in any way. They did, because it's not made. Okay. Now let's see, but I, I assume the actual footage is just ripped from the Steam trailer. Yes. It is. Lyceros Studios. These guys are cool themselves. So let's download the game. And we go to a Dropbox link where we get a password protected zip file. It's 100 megabytes, and let's see what's in it. And we've got our password uh, OV2025. And that is, I guess, to stop your browser, because Google's virus scanner, I have to give them credit, has gotten good recently. It is a lot better than a lot of uh, other ones. It's certainly better than Windows Defender. So as a result, they want to avoid that. So we've got the installer here, license.txt, Crit Inc., this grant of license is, yeah, well, whatever. It's weird how they keep pushing their email. Let's see what's in the readme. If you encounter any issues, all good. Now, let me just check, because it's not terribly uncommon for the EXE shipped with any type of malware to be completely harmless, and the actual, uh, no, actually. So the DLL in this case is perfectly harmless. And let's check Unity Crash Handler as well. That's all good. So then anything suspicious is going to be in this Oblivora file. So let's just take a brief look in Binary Ninja. And we can very easily determine this isn't a Unity game from its imports or lack thereof. And we could see what strings there are, if any. I've heard this uh, does most of its actual malware through opening CMDs, but I don't see any indication of that. Now here we can see quite clearly this is a Nullsoft NSYS installer. So let's move over to Dynamic Analysis and see what this program is really doing. Now from what we've heard, uh, apparently it is quite obvious that this isn't legit once you do run it in the sandbox. And he did mention that it's checking the IP, so we'll uh, put a residential IP on this, because that is sometimes a way that malware tries to avoid both sandboxes and uh, other analysis environments. Of course, a commercial sandbox is running on a remote server, not your local computer. So let's see what Oblivora is really doing. Oh, I don't really like this. So task list... Uh, now, scrolling through this, I can see a couple of immediate red flags, in addition to the fact that a red herring app was actually installed to the desktop. Oh, no. And here is the very, very obvious malware. Now, first of all, we get an immediate hit for Stealer, and we've now got... So, we're simply shipping as bytes. Now, I don't know... I don't think this is actually going to be PowerShell... Uh, but we can go on over to CyberChef and just take a quick look. As far as I can tell, that's probably not text. That's probably binary data, just from the fact uh, that most of this is non-ASCII. So this is probably a bit of a executable not actually. And then we can keep going. And we can immediately see evidence of Chrome stealing. Given we see a restore last session and a debug, which is 
a method of circumventing Chrome's security. We can see Edge uh, suffering to the same fate. And we can see a call to Wimic to potentially check for... There's a lot of stuff I don't like here. And we get a hit to our favorite website. If you're if you're in malware analysis, you've seen GoFile before. You love GoFile. It's, it's a totally trustworthy operation. So now I'm going to see if we can intercept the actual data that was sent. And I might also see if there is a decoy game. Because sometimes what you'll find with these kind of things, because it did install something to the desktop, so sometimes what you find is that they actually do have a decoy game. And I'd like to get my hands on the actual payload file. Then we can do further analysis. So this is, so it's possible that the, the game file does actually just run the stealer. But it's also possible that it might do something more interesting. And these are initially just the Ensys installer doing its, uh, working its magic. And here we can see what looks like an ultimately a JavaScript payload. There is unfortunately, so there's no, there's no playable game, sadly. So given that 7-Zip is capable of extracting Nullsoft installers, uh, let's try in extracting it. And now we have the real file. And just from peeking in there, I can already be pretty confident that this is in fact an Electron app, which means within the app.asl, there is, oh, why are they shipping an app asl? Is that, can't be the whole thing. Already see some things I don't really like in there. Of course, we can't open that in 7-zip. This site looks a bit sketchy, but given I don't really feel like installing this on a, let's see if it's real. Okay, that's a total scam, so I'm just going to copy and paste it. Now, that did work. I did get an error, but hopefully this is usable. So let's open this in VS Code. And that looks disgusting. It's an AI deobfuscation. Having an luck here. Okay. We're not having a lot of luck with that, so let's just take a manual look then. See if there's anything we can make out. We can always, we can always use a JavaScript, not Java. Uh, we can always use a JavaScript deobfuscator to see if we can at least get the first steps out of it. Okay, this actually looks looks like we made good progress. Now we've got something that's like a thousand lines, which we can easily work with in any LLM we want. Okay, I guess that's longer than I thought. Let's try, let's try Minimax again. Wait, what? This is very clearly not what I... Okay, so it's this big block that wasn't rendering for some reason before uh, that causes this problem. So if we simply... So, okay, so this line of code is just too massive. So, I believe... Yes, so let's just let's just get these and then we can figure it out. Now we've only sent a few thousand tokens. Actually, a thousand tokens. Okay, that's great. Essentially, what's happening here is this function is being called on an array that actually is going to unpack the entire thing. So, okay. So we've got variables, and then we've got this function. So we get the loop counter, uh, then this would be like... And then if this is less than the stopping point, so this shifts around this array. All right, and there we go. And then this array here actually does, uh, actually contains all of the obfuscated code. We can see the entire remainder. Let's see what all of this is up to. Although I assume without the bit above, we're not going to be able to easily make sense of it. Of course, Gemini is reminding us that it can't open links. Now let's just see where the references to this come in. So we've essentially got an array that just contains a bunch of additional stuff. So it does in fact look like we've got a completely new and somewhat custom stealer. It is based on Node.js. It uses, it's dropped by a Nullsoft installer, and currently it's, it's impersonating video games. I'm sure it will do other things as well. It's got no hits on any run. Uh, or obviously virus total. We could actually try, uh, because sometimes only the top layer of a packer is undetected. So let's actually go to virus total and let's share the actual unpacked edition. This has never been seen by virus total before. We can see that by the computing hash. The first time for some reason it doesn't work. I always seem to have difficulty using virus total on my VM. I can't imagine how they would check for that, but it seems like they do. 
we're setting up our static and dynamic analysis environments. And we're still getting a clean bill of health as undetected, which isn't totally surprising. A, a bit like what I said in my NL hybrid video, it's incredibly difficult for packed malware to, to be detected in a sane way. And this, while it's packed differently, of course, given it's electron malware, it is going to be quite difficult for signature-based detections to properly detect this. Because you've got an electron app that is then laced with extremely obfuscated, layered obfuscated JavaScript. So really all you could do is have some sort of detection for something in the app.asl file that gives away what this is, or else it's going to be a very weak detection. Currently this is still up. We will of course be uh, reporting it. Uh, let's see, actually on Google it does say roughly how long for a uh, this site has been known to Google. Doesn't say that it's been indexed for a long time. Although we do see, and we also see a victim on Reddit. So they, they were victimized. And this is a different uh, game that just had a close enough name to get indexed on Google. It's not related. So that is going to be all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do let me know in the comments uh, what you thought of it, uh, what you think of this uh, risk in general. That's all from me for now. Bye.